Welcome guys to my brand new channel where we take a look at crypto and DeFi projects, things that catch my eye that I want to do some more research and share with the community. So today we'll be taking a look at Planet Watch. It's a plug and play IoT device similar to things like Helium or the Match X M2 Pro. We'll look at how it works, how you get paid, um, pros, cons, whether it's worth your time and your money. This is a brand new channel, so leave a like, subscribe, and in the comments, let me know if there are other cool projects that you think I should take a look at and make a video on. All right, thanks guys. So what exactly is Planet Watch? It's a decentralized network of air quality monitoring devices. So the devices are gonna be residing in people's homes who purchase the product, who are transmitting data and in turn mining the planet tokens. It sits upon the Algorand blockchain, which provides security, scalability. Um, it's got its own explorer on Algo and it ties to your Algo wallet if you have one. The goal is really to fill gaps in global air quality data today. So there's, you know, we obviously have air quality data at the uh, broader level, but they don't really have street level data as they put it in the white paper and there's a severe lack of indoor data, even though we spend a lot of time there. Um, this, of course, will become more important as you know global warming continues, and um, the white paper also talks about the applications for helping to uh, halt the spread of diseases like COVID. It's founded by um, Claudio Paranello. He has a research background. He used to work for CERN, who's a partner for this project as well. Um, and he's hosted a few crypto startups as well. Um, so definitely check him out. And it's almost fully mineable. So that's probably why you are all here. Um, Want to learn about the mining, how it works. We'll talk about hardware, software, what the token model looks like, and we'll talk about ROI love to see this distribution. Um, some projects like this are coming out, you know, pre-mined and um, the way that Planet Watch is set up really, you know, the miners earn the, the bulk of it. So before I invest in a project like this, I want to see, you know, is it going to be alive in a couple of years? Who would use something like this? So primarily the, the customers are going to be government um and mostly smart cities so they have two live customers on their website right now milan and toronto i believe uh, it's toronto with a t-a-r i believe they're both in italy but essentially they are um partnering with planet watch to provide data for their industrial plants for their um, traffic and for heating systems give them better data um, we all know data is key especially for smart cities so this will probably help them make better planning decisions and um, make sure that they protect themselves from some of the side effects of global warming so i love to see this this is a i think a really strong use case um, and there's obviously a lot of opportunity so let's take a look at the token model um, there is the planet token, and this is what you'll be receiving if you are mining with Planet Watch. These are utility tokens um, mined over the course of 60 years, and there will be a halving every four years. So, sound model built for the long run. There's also Earth credits. If you're familiar with Helium, similar to data credits, this is what customers will obtain services with. Um, made a note here that discounts are available when you pay with planet tokens which gives it you know slightly more application for the most part though you don't have to worry about earth credits and these are going to be fixed to the euro so the maximum supply is four and a half billion planets um, that number was chosen because that's approximately how old uh, the earth is thought to be which is a nice touch um, five percent of that supply went directly to Planet Watch for things like R and D, paying salaries, uh, helping set up the network, the app. 
95% of it is going to miners, which is really cool. Um, I'm not sure the exact breakdown for Helium, but I know for MXC and its M2 Pro, it's much, much smaller. It's around 10%. So it's great to see almost all of the supplies going to the miners. The rewards breakdown is, is pretty fair as well. 80% um, goes to the miner and 20% of all currency mined goes back to Planet Watch. So if you'd like to get involved, there's really just two things you need. You need um, uh, an actual physical device to collect the air quality data. So we'll talk about what those different device types are. This is the Atmo tube, the most common device today. There is, um, you also need a software license. So there's a couple different software types. They match directly to the hardware type, so it's actually pretty easy. And we'll talk about what that looks like. So there's four mining device types. Um, they're not all out today, but we'll go over each one quickly. So there's the premium outdoor sen sensor. They actually have a model here, the Air Quino. Um, just got a notification today, so June 25th, that these um, licenses are on sale. So these should be coming out pretty soon and it should be both in the US and EU. We'll look at the re reward structure. These are gonna be more expensive devices worth more planets. Um, we'll move on to the type two, which is actually out today. So this is a consumer outdoor sensor called the Ariana currently only out in the EU, although it's coming to the US. Um, not sure exactly the price. I think it's around 200 euro. Type three is gonna be a specialized indoor sensor, probably commercial, um, still waiting on details there. And then type four is the most commonly used one today. Known as a wearable, um, it's an Atmo 2 Pro. It's a small device about this big. You can clip it on your belt um, or you can leave it at your house like I do. And this is out both in the US and the UK. We'll go over price point here and run some ROI because um, this is the primary device. So we'll do some calculations around the Atmo 2. If you do buy it, um, there's multiple places to buy it. So Planet Watch doesn't sell hardware directly. They sell software licenses and they partner with distributors. So you can get this from Amazon. You can get it directly from Atmo Tube. Make sure you get the Pro model. Um, there is another version of Atmo Tube with less features and you won't earn planets with that. So software licenses, there's four types. You can see um, type two matches to the Ariana, type four, the Atmo Tube Pro. So pretty straightforward. You know what you're gonna buy. Um, in terms of a hardware device, just make sure you get the corresponding license. And you can get this as a one year, two year, three year license. Personally, I went with the two year. Um, you get certain economies of scale when you buy longer term licenses. I didn't see a huge difference between the two and three in terms of the annual price and just being a little safer. A crypto space changes so much, who knows what's gonna be happening in one, two or three years. Although I do believe this project will be around for quite a while. So reward structure. Uh, this is your earnings as a miner. So you can see that there's lead sensors and backup sensors for certain device types. So type one is the Arquino, not out yet. We don't know too much about that, but uh, pretty hefty rewards there. The type two Ariana, it actually does have two sensors. Um, so you'll be earning both of those in a given day. Let's focus on type four though, because that'll be the most common, at least for now in 2021. Um, you earn 23 planets approximately per day. And that's act after the 20% cut has already gone to Planet Watch. So this is what you make every day. Um, planets at this time are 10 cents. So they just hit the market about a week and a half ago. Um, so that's about $2.30 a day. It uses the Algo wallet. So this is a picture of my wallet. You can see I have 782 planets, which is about $78. Um, you can see there's constant transactions every two minutes and you get paid once a day. So I believe it's 2 p.m. Um, 
CET that you get paid, your 23 planets. And that's 23 with the proper uptime, so you want to make sure you're always connected. Um, this trades on Bitfinex for now. So hopefully it'll be rolling out to some other sources. I personally um, am waiting verification through KYC on Bitfinex, but you can actively trade on that site for now. So what's the ROI? This is the most important, um, you know, when am I gonna break even? And we'll take a look with the Type 4 device, so the Atmo Tube Pro. Uh, it's about $160. So if, if you use this code directly from the website, as I mentioned, you can buy on Amazon as well. Haven't checked the price lately, but if you buy from AtmoTube, this code's still active, PW2021. It's about $160 shipped. Plus a Type 4 license, that'll be um, for two years, another $60, so $30 a year. Um, all in for two years, that's $220 which gives you an ROI at 23 planets a day times the current price of 10 cents, 2.30 a day, about 95 and a half days. So not bad for a device like this. Um, the M2 Pro that I talked about earlier takes about 10 months. Helium can really vary. Um, it's probably right now less, uh, about a month if you can get a device, very hard to get. Um, these Planet Watch devices are actually in stock so um, yeah, pretty happy with that. There is one caveat and that's if you have an Apple device, which I do for my phone, um, there's an issue with background data refresh in the app. So basically you need to have your screen on at all times to earn the maximum amount, which I don't see anyone realistically doing. So I bought a cheap Android tablet. It was $50 off Amazon, I'll link it below which brings your you know, total cost up to around 270, which adds about um, 25 days to your ROI. So just something to be aware of. If you have an Android device, you're good to go. I also, um, I should, I believe there's a software license discount code floating around, so I'll link that if I can find it. Um, just waiting for a response back from the Planet Watch guys. So what's the verdict on this thing, um, and should you buy it? So the strengths are quick ROI, um, 90 days. It's really fast for the for plug and play mining. Super early. This just launched in the U.S. about a month ago. Um, devices just came out. They're still in stock, and the coin launched literally a week and a half ago. So it's been super stable trading at 10 cents, but you know, not to say this is going to catch Helium, but Helium coin debuted less than a dollar and currently it's around 12 or 13. So there is a lot of upside. And not much of a downside. You know, you just need three months to make your money back. It's a lot less expensive than other projects, which is a strength, also a weakness in that it's a, it could be a little le less lucrative, but a strength for those who just want to put in, you know, 200 bucks um, versus M2 Pro being 3,000 and Helium being about 500 unless you buy it secondhand, which can be uh, around three grand as well. And it's on the Algo blockchain partnered with Algo. Um, I think Algo's, you know, a great fast chain. It's super secure. It works well. It's fast. It's, it's, it's a solid project. Weaknesses only on Bitfinex. Um, Bitfinex is kind of a pain to use. It requires KYC. I would love to see this on more exchanges. There's very little trading volume today, but it's a brand new token and a new project. So um, once the word is out and it's on more exchanges, I think this should improve. The data refresh is a big issue. Um, if you have an Apple device, or even if you have a phone and you're out and about a lot, I'd just get that extra tablet put it into your ROI, consider it, you know, move it from a 90 day ROI to a 120 day ROI. Um, I have mine just sitting there with my device and have never had an issue with it. It just stays paired over Bluetooth. The other weakness is it's one device per location, um, which limits potential upside. 
So it's not as lucrative as, you know, something like the M2 minor, which you can have multiple of. One thing you can do that some people do is you can have one in your home and one on the go because those are different locations. Um, you can also, once new device types roll out, so there's those four device types, you can have one of each earning planets. You can have an outdoor sensor, you can have the indoor. Um, I believe that you can have the other types of indoor, so the more the commercial ones, I'm not positive on that. But if that's the case, that'll earn you a lot more um, in planets. You can also, of course, do the whole hosting thing, similar to Helium, where you can pay your friends to do it. It's just a little more convoluted when they need to have, you know, a tablet going, the device, and it's not quite as lucrative. So if you're if you're earning two bucks a day, you know, I guess you could pay your friends fifty cents or so, but just a little less upside than Helium. With that said, final verdict. Um, you know, I think it's an easy buy. It's a cool project. It's good for the environment. Um, the team is super easy to work with. They're always on Telegram. I believe a Discord's launching soon. And there's very little risk. And the device is about this big. So I think it's a great project. I'm surprised it hasn't taken off. I think it will. And um, I, you know, I could see a lot of growth with the token as well. So definitely check it out. Take a look at the links below. Um, I'll link all these codes, different places to buy, different sensors. And if you liked the video, if it helped you out, give me a like and a follow.